day one of trying to vlog my daily life, I guess. One thing I've incorporated into my routine, I skip lunch every day because at my new job, if I don't eat lunch, I can just get home sooner. Plus I decided that I'm actually usually not hungry at lunch anyway. So instead I am just drinking these like protein fruit smoothies. This is a good breakfast. It's an hour drive to work every day, roughly. Sometimes it's 35 minutes, or like for example yesterday, it was like an hour and 20 minutes, which really sucks. A big part of my daily routine is going and grabbing coffee. I drive through Allen, Texas, so I get to stop at this place called Armor Coffee. It's actually veteran owned and they make pretty good coffee. Can I get a large light roast coffee with half and half and two sugar in the raw? Thank you. Could I get one of those stoppers? Yeah. yeah. That's all. Thank you. When I first started driving to work, I was worried I was going to hate the hour drive. Just the idea of having to wake up extra early to drive an hour all the way to work and then especially when I get off an hour away home, I really thought it was going to suck. So every morning I get a drive with the sun coming up and I get to grab coffee. It's like two of my favorite things and I get to do it every morning. I actually feel like it helped inspire me to want to vlog again because I would just wake up, go get coffee, go through this drive through the sunrise every morning and it just really seemed like something that needs to be seen on camera. probably explain like the ins and out of what exactly I do all day so or more specifically what I'm gonna be doing today so these are all the letters that I put together and uh, I'm gonna be putting a little bit more stuff into them these are like signs so this is a P um, this one's actually pretty much all put together you can see here we got like in the back and everything got it all set up so I just basically do that all day drill holes rivet do a bunch of stuff it's really a uh, a repetitive cycle, but then uh, you get a bunch of letters, like a P. Say I've had a pretty progressive day. I got all of these letters done now officially, and I put the caulking in around all these seals. I usually bring an energy drink. Oh, it's a little bright. There you go. I usually bring an energy drink with me, and uh, I skip lunch and just drink the energy drink, but I forgot my energy drink, so like first, first quick trip I stop at, I'm grabbing something. I just realized I haven't given you guys a tour of the new unnamed Jeep, so uh, I'll do that later. But check this out. <laughs> Now that I am a moderately proud owner of a Jeep JK, I joined a Jeep JK group, which might have been a, a bit of a mistake. I'm assuming that most of my subscribers have or have had Jeeps in the past, so they're probably very acutely aware of the current Jeep duck trend. Supposedly, it's this way of being like, hey, I like your Jeep, here's a duck. Inherently, the idea sounds really harmless. But it has caused probably the most controversy in the Jeep community since the wave. People are now trying to say that the only people who wave at other Jeeps and put ducks on Jeeps are moms and, um, the, you know, like the soccer mom trope. We're not going to get into the soccer mom trope, but that's basically the idea. And it's really sad because the Jeep wave has been around even before the whole soccer mom trope and way before the duck thing. Um, I offended a lot of people and to all those people, I apologize. Um, that you're offended by a rubber duck. I think it's really funny is people don't realize that this whole argument goes both ways. I don't know why it's such a hard concept to grasp that if you don't own a vehicle, maybe you don't put stuff on another person's vehicle, like just don't do it. It's created this like idea of entitlement too, where it's like, oh, if you bought a Jeep, then Jeep. If you bought a Jeep that you somehow are entitled to allow people to put rubber ducks in your Jeep, it's really weird. That's a little bit of my TED talk for today and I am so thirsty and I really need an energy drink and this pedophile van just cut me off and is going, f go pedophile van, I'm thirsty. I 
I was gonna buy an energy drink, but they were actually more expensive than gas station prices. So I just got water. I had a package that was supposed to arrive today and it hasn't come in the mail yet. I basically went home and immediately fell asleep. I was really tired, especially because I didn't get that energy drink, so. This is a weird kickstart into like my new plan for filming. I want to kind of create this scenario where each video I'll have something to talk about. I was going to make like the main focus of today's video, first of all being that it is the start of my new like making films again or vlogging again. But I was also going to make the second point being the thing I bought that's coming in the mail that was supposed to be here today and it didn't come in today. So now I have to think of like a new thing for this video to be about that's going to be interesting enough to put in a title and then also for someone to want to watch, which I'm not seeing that for this video. We'll consider this video a huge flop, so I'm not sure where to go from here. Oh, I could have gone like there. I need to go left from here. No, 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 no. Let me go, let me go, let me go. I'm gonna go. The light was turning red on my turn.